Hi everybody, thanks for watching The Great Green Room. My name is Julia. Today we're going to be looking at Do Is Talk, written and illustrated by Carson Ellis. Carson Ellis is the illustrator of several children's books, including The Wildwood Chronicles, which she did in collaboration with her husband, Colin Malloy. I'm already a fan of Carson Ellis, and I really like the illustrations in this book a lot. In particular, I like what she does with blank space. She starts out with tons of white space here, which she slowly fills up over the course of the book, leaving lots of room for dramatic happenings. In particular, the plant growing, building a fort, a spider taking over the fort, a bird eating the spider, a flower blooming, and the flower fading away. There's a lot of really neat little touches that you start to notice as you read this book more and more often. For instance, there's a cocoon here that gets built at the very beginning. Towards the end, a butterfly comes out. There's also a stick bug who, and who reveals himself as a stick bug here and not an actual stick. I really like that a lot. This is the busiest page, and from here it sort of winds down. As you probably noticed, Carson does something interesting with the language. In fact, this entire book is written in a made-up language, the idea being that kids are supposed to figure out via context what is going on. At first, that seemed like a pretty cute idea, but the more I read this book and the more I looked at it, the more it just seems kind of gimmicky. It doesn't really add anything to the story. To be perfectly honest, I feel like Ellis should have been able to put more faith in her drawings and her illustrations because those are plenty good enough. It doesn't need anything else. It doesn't need a gimmick like a fake language that you're supposed to figure out. The illustrations are fantastic already. I really just kind of found the fake language a bit of a pain. Um, it really just doesn't need it at all. Unfortunately, because of that, I'm only going to give Dewey's talk a three. I really think the illustrations are great. If you see it at the library, I encourage you to check it out. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. I'm glad you're watching The Great Green Room, and I want to hear about your favorite children's books. Thanks a lot. Bye.